this is once again a question of uh, connected motion. You have here a block A of mass M1 rests on a horizontal table. A light string connected to it passes over a frictionless pulley at the edge of the table and from its other end another block B of mass M2 is suspended. So mass M2 if you write the equation for that then you see M2G minus T will be equal to M2A. This will be the equation for hanging mass M2 and the mass which is on the table you will write T1 sorry T minus mu M1G this is equal to M1A. So if you solve these two equations simultaneously then you will be able to get the value of tension in the string which they have demanded. So tension in the string if you calculate you will be getting fourth expression M1 M2 into 1 plus mu kg upon M1 plus M2. So this will be the appropriate option for question number 128. Now let us switch over to question number 129. This question number 129 it is based on photoelectric effect and Einstein's photoelectric expression you will have to use. They are talking in terms of stopping potential, incident wavelength and uh, threshold wavelength. So I am using the expression say Hc by lambda this is equal to Hc by lambda naught plus this E into V stopping potential. So you have to make two equations and then you can find out the required thing. It says that a certain metallic surface is illuminated with monochromatic light of wavelength lambda and the stopping potential for photo current for this light is 3 V naught. So if you substitute here, it will be Hc by lambda, this is equal to Hc by lambda naught. This lambda naught you are supposed to calculate plus E times 3 V naught they are saying. This is equation number 1 you will be forming. Understand? Now they are saying if the same surface is illuminated with light of wavelength 2 lambda. So this time now I will be using Hc by 2 lambda but this threshold wavelength is a constant so it will remain as it is. Then it is saying that the stopping potential becomes V0. So this is E times V0. This is the second equation you will be forming. Now since this has to be eliminated so you multiply this by 3 and get it subtracted. So this stopping potential will be vanishing and you will be getting lambda naught in terms of lambda. If you solve that you will be getting lambda naught as 4 lambda. So I will be marking option 3 for question number 129. Now get into question number 130. This uh, question number 130 is uh, based on addition of two different simple harmonic motions and you can use vector expressions for that or you can say phasor method. It says that when two displacements represented by y1 is equal to a sin omega t and y2 is equal to b cos omega t are superimposed. You see both these uh, motions are SHM and they have same frequency. So naturally the final motion has to be simple harmonic. Now everything should be represented in terms of sin. So here it is cos. It should have been written as sin omega t plus 90 degree. So if you are representing it as a vector then A will be represented in this direction and this will be written as B sin omega t plus 90. So this will be B vector but making an angle 90 degree with x axis. So you have these two vectors to be added. So naturally resultant will be what? Pythagoras of these two that is under root a square plus b square and this will be a simple harmonic motion. You can calculate angle phi as well whatever will be the resultant and final expression if you feel like writing you can write under root a square plus b square sin omega t plus phi. Phi will be the angle the resultant will be making with x axis. So here they are just demanding simple harmonic with amplitude so much. This will be the appropriate answer for this question 130. Switch over to question number 131. Now this question number 131, this is basically a current electricity problem and single loop question. Maybe they are mentioning potentiometer, but it's simply a single loop problem. It says that a potentiometer wire has length 4 meter. So let us suppose this length is 4 meter. It has certain resistance and resistance of 8 ohm. This is 8 ohm resistance. The resistance that must be connected in series with the wire and an accumulator. So you are supposed to calculate this value of resistance R. The supply voltage is 2 volt so as to get a potential gradient of 1 millivolt per centimeter. Here you have to have 1 millivolt per centimeter. What is the total length that is 4 meter that is 400 centimeter 400 multiplied by 1 millivolt that is equal to 0.4 volt. 
So you see here the 0.4 volt drop will be taking place in this resistance. So what is the leftover voltage? 2 minus 0.4 that is 1.6 volt. So you see here since that's the single loop thing, so same current flowing, so resistance will be simply in the proportion of voltage. If the voltage is 4 times, the resistance should also be 4 times, 8 4 are 32. So you have to mark option number 2 for this question number 131. Now let us switch over to question number 132.